Mr. Harith Sunyan, Mr. Safarian, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'd like to thank the Orwelli Analytical Center for organizing uh, this conference today. I think, uh, as my uh, colleague from Iran said, it's uh, during discussions and interactions like this that we uh, throw up ideas and it brings countries and peoples closer. So once again, I would like to thank you for having given me this opportunity this morning uh, to talk about uh, greater connectivity and uh, also to talk about this type trilateral cooperation that we have started between India, Armenia and Iran. India, Armenia share historical ties going back centuries and Iran was the bridge facilitating these ties. Armenian traders traveled through Iran and traded with India. In fact, in the 18th century, a famous Armenian writer, philosopher and merchant, Shahamir Shamirian, was born in Julfa, Iran and later settled in Madras, India. In 1771, Shahamirian founded the first Armenian printing press in Madras and published the Boragai Parats, which contained a proposed constitution for a future independent Armenian Republic, thus proving to be a valuable connection between India, Armenia and Iran. These historical connections not only led to flourishing of trade, but also contributed to exchange of culture, customs and language. There are many similar words between Hindi, Armenian and Farsi like Darwaza, Bazaar, Hazar, Azad, Dukan, etc. These centuries-old ties between the three countries give us a solid foundation for close cooperation in contemporary times. The search for efficient trade routes and better connectivity has been one of the powerful driving forces of history. It has determined the prospects of many nations, regions and civilizations over time. Today, as the world goes through a fundamental rebalancing, correcting many of the distortions of the past, it is only natural that connectivity should be central to that exercise. In the modern age, the correlation between connectivity and economic growth has got even more pronounced. Growth in trade, commerce, industrial development and technological advancement has gone hand in hand with ease of connectivity. In this context, India, Armenia and Iran held the first trilateral co consultations in April uh, this year in Yerevan. Connectivity was the dominant topic of discussion during this meeting. Today's forum gives us the opportunity to further deliberate on how India, Armenia and Iran can reinvigorate the historical trade route between the three countries within the existing frameworks. India and Iran are cooperating closely on the INSTC. The International North-South Transport Corridor is a multi-modal transportation route linking Indian Ocean and the Persian Gulf to the Caspian Sea via Iran and onward to Russia. Armenia is also a member of the INSTC. We would be ready to work with Armenia to see how Armenia can benefit from this corridor. Further, maritime connectivity has played a significant role in creating regional corridors for trade and economic linkages, as indeed for cultural and intellectual exchanges over the centuries. They too assume a new prominence in contemporary times for being more competitive, seamless and greener. The access of landlocked economies to maritime movements has therefore been of particular focus of recent initiatives. The shift in the fulcrum of global economic growth towards Asia is creating unprecedented opportunities for connectivity in the region. The Government of India, recognizing the importance of regional connectivity, made a landmark decision to undertake an overseas port investment in Chabahar. Today, the Chabahar port 
has not only emerged as a commercial transit hub for the region, but also facilitated the delivery of humanitarian assistance. Besides the Indian exports of food products, the port has handled several shipments and trans shipments from Russia, Brazil, Thailand, Germany, Ukraine and the UAE. India has also proposed the inclusion, and it will become a reality also, uh, the inclusion of Chabahar in the INSTC route. Armenia has expressed its interest to be associated with the INSTC and the Chabahar port. Recently, the Armenian Minister of Territorial Administration and Infrastructure, Mr. Gnel Sanusyan, and the Deputy Foreign Minister, Mr. Safarian, participated in the Global India Maritime Summit in Mumbai in October 2023. And ladies and gentlemen, as we speak, the Minister for Territorial Administration is currently in Iran, and there are deliberations in this regard. We would welcome and facilitate Armenia's utilization of the Chabahar port to overcome its connectivity challenges being a landlocked country. Regarding the Crossroads of Peace project, recently Prime Minister Pashinyan presented Armenia's Crossroads of Peace project. It aims to enhance connectivity in the South Caucasus region through infrastructure development, including roads, railways, pipelines, cables and electricity lines. The project envisages bringing peace in the region through enhanced connectivity, leading to thriving commerce, bringing prosperity for the people of the region. Armenia is also currently developing its road infrastructure from its southern border with Iran to the northern border with Georgia. Already, some Indian companies have shown interest in this project. We are ready to facilitate and participate in infrastructure development projects in Armenia. I look forward to the discussions during the forum on boosting regional connectivity and development infrastructure. These discussions would be useful to identify potential areas for India, Armenia and Iran to cooperate in the region. Thank you.